Hey guys, this is part 11 and a half of the videos I've been doing um, on memories or uh, uh, past videos, past pictures, past places I've visited. Um, today's been a, a kind of a cool, uh, kind of cold. It's cold, cold inside the house. It's been just kind of, for me, it's been a cold day, wet, it's been really rainy. Um, I'm not feeling very well from the medication I'm taking for, for a urinary tract infection. Um, it caused it, it caused me to have upset stomach several times today. Anyway, um, still got upset stomach. I took some Imodium AD. Anyway, my ex-husband left to go take care of um, the elderly family member for the weekend. He won't be back until Tuesday. Um, it's just... Anyway, I'm I'm very tired. I'm very sleepy. Um, I did another video. Um, I ran the car, the, the, the Ford Taurus, for a little while to see if it would act up. The one that uh, the dealership couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Um, it didn't. It ran. I'm very tired. Um, I'm very sleepy. I slept good last night, I guess. But I'm still very, very sleepy. I I, I was uh, uploading some pictures to Facebook, and I almost fell asleep. Anyway, um, it's a little too early to go to sleep yet, though. So I'm going to do this video and maybe watch a little TV. Anyway, um, the car ran. I didn't run it that long, only about 15 or 20 minutes of idling while I did the videos and edited and whatever. And it didn't do anything, really. Uh, it stuttered once, like, I, I heard, like, a funny sound and some stuttering, like, maybe it was going to die, but it, it didn't. It just kept running. So, anyway, um, as far as I know, no theft light. It just stuttered a little bit. I was doing my video, but I didn't. So, anyway, I think it didn't really do anything, just stuttered. Anyway, but it didn't die. So, anyway, I went back, went back in the house, um... I watched a little bit more Law and Order. Uh, I on TV runs like a Law and Order like all day on Saturday. Anyway, so I watched a couple episodes, but the last two episodes I'd already seen them, so I decided, you know, I didn't really want to watch any more of that. So anyway, I decided, and the chairs, and I've talked about this before, the chairs inside the house are really uncomfortable. We don't really have any, uh, there's no viable furniture. It's just patio chairs, you know, like lawn chairs, patio chairs that we sit in in front of the TV. So they, they can get very uncomfortable if you sit in them for very long. Anyway, so I, anyway, I had to go, anyway, I had to go out anyway. So I, I left to go to the store. Anyway, um, that's about it. I'm gonna uh, uh, include a couple of videos here, a couple of memory, whatever, slideshows, whatever. Talk about that a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, watch some TV. Um, uh, probably watch some TV on my iPad. Um, I've been watching House. I've been watching Law & Order UK. Uh, I probably won't do that though. I'll probably watch a movie. Um, I don't have the, uh, cords and cables and things I need to hook up to the TV, which I, I know I can do from my phone, but uh, I don't have any of the cables or any of that yet. And I don't like sitting in that chair and it's just so uncomfortable. It is so very, very uncomfortable in those chairs and it's very cold in the house. The furnace does not work. So it's just a space heater and I, I put the space heater right in front of me, but I'm still cold. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to, I'm going to finish up, I'm going to do this video, and then I'll probably, I'll watch a little TV, and then that's it. And then, you know, and inside the house, I don't have a lot of way to sleep. Right now, The the as I, I said before, the futon's not fixed. There's not, the, the futon's set up, but we don't have bed sheets. We don't have anything for it. It's very cold in the house. I don't have an electric blanket. That space heater does not work very well. Um, so anyway, um, so it's just sleep on the floor or in my car until, you know, until I go back, till I go home, you know, till I go home because I'm not at home right now and I won't be at home for a few more weeks. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while because I think I'm going to have to slow the, um, 
I think I'm going to have to request that they only do once a week on physical therapy because those push-ups and some of the exercises make me very sore, my arms especially, just very sore, and I don't think I'm going to be able to handle two or three times a week like they want me to do, which would get me done in a month or six weeks, but, you know, I feel like it would be better to do it for maybe... 10 weeks or 11 I mean for at least for me that's how I feel anyway so next time I go in I go in I go in for my MRI on Monday I go in for another physical therapy appointment on Thursday that I'm gonna ask them and I'm supposed to go like uh, this coming up Thursday and then Saturday and then the next month following Monday and Wednesday I think I'm gonna ask, I'm going to talk to them about um, canceling the Saturday and Monday appointment and I'll keep the Wednesday appointment and then reschedule for the next week for Wednesday or Thursday of the next week and only do it about one time a week because I also want to go to the chiropractor and I don't want to be so sore that that it's it's just painful or whatever when they do whatever they're going to do um because I do feel like I probably I, I do need to see maybe a chiropractor because they're not going to um say anything about a chiropractor until I've run through all my physical therapy and you know and then they may or they may not I mean the lawyer told me that well you know if you go with our chiropractors or whatever you know you don't have to pay for it but I don't know how long that's going to be or if they're going to eat if they'll even recommend a chiropractor um so I mean I don't know you know I could be waiting weeks you know and and really I think I you know waiting weeks going through numbness and pain and all this stuff that you know without you know I could go weeks before they even recommend it if they do it all anyway so that's pretty much tonight I'm going to move to the next uh, uh I'm gonna come back in another video and um just go over a few things few places I've already visited I don't want to go to sleep yet it's too early it's not like not even eight o'clock I'm not going to sleep at 8 o'clock at night. I will be up at like 4 or 5 in the morning. Uh, I do not want to do that. And I have been going to bed earlier, thankfully. Um, I've been going to sleep about... Last couple nights, I apologize. I just have a hard time breathing lately. I do not know what that is, what's going on with that. I, that's another doctor's appointment. Um. Anyway, I have... Uh, I think it's my back, maybe, I'm not sure, um, I know, I don't know, that's, the doctor says something about that, but anyway, um, the, the vertebrae in my back being misaligned or out could cause me to have breathing issues, anyways, I don't know, I know my coordination is off, they did tell me that when I went to physical therapy, anyway, that said, I've been going to sleep a lot earlier. I was going to sleep like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning because I was drinking caffeine. But the last couple of nights, because I haven't had any caffeine and I didn't drink any caffeine today or yesterday or the day before since uh, Thursday when I went for my physical therapy, I haven't had any Coke or caffeine or or any, uh, any, any drinks, and nothing with caffeine. I don't drink coffee, but nothing with caffeine. So I've been going to sleep about maybe midnight. Um, now last night, I think a couple of nights it was midnight. Last night, I think it was about 1.30 in the morning. So that was a little, because I left, I didn't leave my ex-husband's house, or I didn't leave my ex-husband's until, or didn't leave the house rather, until about 11 o'clock. No, I take that back. Um, I didn't leave until 12. Let me, let me rephrase. I didn't, I, I didn't realize it. I thought it was 11 o'clock and it was midnight because he had said something about watching Seinfeld, but he, his back was hurting. So he didn't get up and I was watching something. I don't remember what. And, uh, oh, Hawaii Five O. That's what it was. I was watching I, uh, Hawaii Five O and I on. So I just stayed and I kept watching it. So I didn't go to sleep until I didn't get ready for, didn't go to bed until like 1.30 because I, I wanted to do, I think a little, I needed to do a little bit on my phone maybe. I don't remember. But anyway, um, so I did a little bit because that's what I usually do before I go to sleep. So today, anyway, today's been just kind of a dra you know, kind of one of those days. It's rainy. It's not a, so it's a crappy day kind of, been crappy. I hope tomorrow is better. Um... Anyway, so I'm going to conclude this part of the video, and I'm going to go to the next video and talk about uh, some of the places I visited. So I'll be back in just a little bit.
Hi, this uh, first video it was taken last year, uh, 2020, in Virginia, that particular area. I'm not really sure exactly where I was in Virginia. I don't remember what highway I was on. I know I was on a two-lane highway, and I probably got out of, off of U.S. Highway 11 at some point. I think I was in my Ford Taurus, if I remember correctly. It was, if I also remember correctly, it was my trip, on my trip to, I went from North Carolina to Pennsylvania last year, um, Harrisburg, and I know I was about an hour outside of New York. Um, anyway, it was just some highway in Virginia somewhere, no clue where. I, I remember I pulled off to the left-hand side, uh, saw some really, you know, some cows, a cow pasture, you know. Uh, just a really, you know, really cool area to take some pictures. And then I, I drove just down the road, just not even a quarter of a mile, just a very tiny little ways. Because from the the place I pulled off on the left-hand side of the road, I turned, I went to the left, went back out. And I just pulled in off of this road that, that you see. And there was it was so beautiful. It was just such a gorgeous day. It was a sunny warm day it was absolutely gorgeous and I took these photos and they were absolutely just to me it was an absolutely gorgeous day um I also took some pictures with my iPad that same day um and on the road I pulled off there was a, a house you could not see there were so many bushes and trees and shrubs in front of the house they couldn't see me parked in front of their house but I took a bunch of pictures right there in front of their house and there was like uh, they had like a bunch of flowers at the uh, around their mailbox and in front of their house it was just gorgeous it was just a beautiful day and I took these photos anyway I'm not sure where but it was somewhere in Virginia Hi, these pictures were taken in uh, Tennessee uh, on U.S. Highway 421. Um, this particular area is called um, the Snake, and the place I took these pictures were at a little area. I guess it's like a little biker area or a biker bar right there. Um, as you can see, the motorcycle. Um, anyway, my understanding at least I looked it up online, it is obviously a, 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 a drive that a lot of bikers like to take because it has a lot of, a lot of curves. It has, I can't remember how many curves it has, but it has a lot of curve, a lot of curves, a ton of curves, and bikers like to, like to drive it. Anyway, it was take, uh, the, these pictures, slideshow was in Tennessee, U.S. High, US Highway 421, Hi, this is uh, U.S. Highway 421 North, I mean, uh, South, North, I actually was going, I was actually traveling U.S. Highway 20, 421 North, and it's right there at that same area next to the biker area, biker bar, um, I just walked across the street and took signs of the signs going south toward Boone, um, anyway, I continued on, there's actually another little, um, um, building or old restaurant or something up the road. I took a photograph of that. I don't, I don't think that's in this particular slideshow, but anyway, I did that. I went on down the road. I actually took a picture of an old truck on the side of the road, and then I continued on my trek, and I'm not exactly sure where I ended up, but I was someplace in Tennessee.
Hi, this next video uh, is just uh, nature, trees, uh, the sky overlapping. I really like to um, take pictures of the tops of trees and that filter out into the sky. Anyway, it's just a nature photo or nature slideshow and I don't remember where I took, took the photographs. This next slideshow was taken in Virginia. Hi, this next slideshow was taken in Tennessee. At least I think that's where it was taken. Hi, this next video was also taken in Tennessee. Uh, I believe it was at the Cherokee Dam, but I can't be sure, but I know, I'm pretty sure it was at a dam in Tennessee. Hi, these pictures were taken, or slideshow rather, was taken at a lake in South Carolina, uh, I believe earlier this year around January 2021. Here's another lake in South Carolina. Hi, this last video was taken someplace in South Carolina. Um, I'm not sure where. Um, maybe near Lancaster, that's what I want to say, but I'm not really sure. I know I take a lot of pictures in South Carolina. In the wintertime, I always go south, usually to South Carolina. It's usually my go-to place. South Carolina, Georgia. Um, occasionally Florida. In fact, I have a few, some slideshows and a lot of pictures I'm going to include in another video from where I went to Florida last year, or I think maybe it was last year or the year before. Anyway, and I didn't go that far into Florida. I only went into North Florida, but I have a, a number of uh, pictures and things I took. Anyway, um, this is the last video, last slideshow, um, like I said, taken someplace in South Carolina. Um, and in the wintertime, I mean, like I said, wintertime I go south. In the summertime I usually go north. Uh, last year I went to Tennessee. Um, but I also went to Virginia and Pennsylvania. This year I'm thinking about going to maybe West Virginia and Kentucky because that's not too far from North Carolina. And it'll it'll offer me a chance to get out, have a little road trip. 
but you know, maybe a week out, maybe if I'm lucky two weeks, but I have so much coming up with, you know, doctor's appointments, physical therapy. I have a lot coming up, so I'm just not going to be able to travel that far. Um, right now, um, I'm still, it's still cool. It's not cold. It's not hot yet. So, um, I can still go to, you know, if I want to explore, take a, take a road trip for a day or two, I can still go to South Carolina, um, Georgia, maybe if I have enough time, but more than likely just South Carolina. There's still a few places that I meant to get to. In fact, there's a couple places I meant to get to in South Carolina before I had the accident. One of those places was to go back to Cowpens Battlefield. Um, I might make it out there to Cowpens tomorrow. Maybe I'm not sure, but, but, you know, I'll probably go explore something tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday. And then Monday, because tomorrow it's just going to be like one day, one little something for just like a little one day, day trip. Um, and because then Monday is my physical therapy. I mean, not my, ex, uh, let me take that back. Monday is my MRI and then I'll have a couple days and then Thursday will be the physical therapy again. Anyway, which I'm going to start trying to, uh, reschedule to down to one time a week. Anyway, it is now about 8 o'clock, or a little after 8 o'clock. I am I am tired, but I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, so I'm going to um, end for the night, and I'm going to get something to eat. Um, I had a pretty good lunch today. I ate very well, as a matter of fact. I had some chicken left over that was in the refrigerator from, like, a couple days ago. Uh, a baked chicken. I like to buy those, uh, the uh, uh, grocery, I like to go to the grocery store and go get rotisserie chickens. So I got the rotisserie chicken and I had that and I had some potato salad and a little bit of coleslaw and a tiny bit of macaroni salad and some uh, cranberry relish that I picked up yesterday at the fresh market. Because when I was at the fresh market yesterday, I also uh, purchased, um, uh, bistro meal with some salmon and stuff. Anyway, so I had a really big lunch. I had a good lunch. So tonight I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little hungry, but I don't really want to eat a whole lot. I was thinking about just eating a little tuna, you know, maybe a pouch, maybe a pouch of tuna or something, but, um, I'm not sure. So, um, I'm kind of thinking I'll probably just eat some crackers, maybe a few peanut butter crackers, and, uh, maybe really, it's going to be more of a snack than dinner. But, uh, I kind of was thinking of tuna, but I'm not really feeling tuna tonight. I kind of just want to eat some fruit and maybe eat some crackers. Um, just cr basically crackers. That's going to be about it. Probably crackers, a gr you know, maybe a granola bar. And I have some fruit. I have some grapes and I have some uh, bananas. And if I don't eat those bananas, they're going to go bad. So I'll probably just have some grapes and bananas, mostly fruit, grapes and bananas, um, which reminds me, I had some fruit, uh, left over, and I forgot about that. It's still, uh, anyway, I kind of left that in the refrigerator, and I kind of forgot about it. Anyway, um, so I don't know about that. It's, uh, anyway, I'm too far to, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go back for that. But anyway, um, anyway, I had a good lunch, so I'm gonna, and, and anyway, I was thinking about my bananas tonight anyway. I don't know why I had that on the brain. So anyway, I'm gonna end for now. I'm gonna go eat, and I'm gonna eat and probably watch a movie, and then that'll be it. I'll go to bed and go to sleep until another time. God bless.